Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube. I hope you're having a lovely week so far. I have got quite a big haul for you today because I'm going to be showing you some of my favourite autumn outfits. I think I've maybe got about eight. Um, so yeah, so excited to show you those. I'm also going to be showing you some of my new in jewellery and how I style that with my outfits. Um, do also remember to follow me on Instagram at Sophie Louise's Diary and let's get going. So I just got into my first outfit. I'm going to move a little bit closer to the camera so you can see the jewellery first. So these pieces are all from Anna Luisa and I am obsessed with this brand. The pieces are so beautiful. What's so amazing about Anna Luisa is it's also super sustainable. Um, so from the extraction of the materials to the disposal of the pieces, they are completely carbon neutral. Um, so they basically just give back everything they take. The first piece I wanted to show you are these earrings. They are so beautiful. These are fresh water pearls and they are 14 karat gold plated. So they instantly dress up an outfit. I feel like they kind of add a touch of femininity and they look so chic. Even if you were to wear like an all black simple outfit, I just feel like they kind of instantly dress it up. So the pieces range in price. Um, I think they start at about $39. So these earrings I think are about 70 pounds. Pieces are also super high quality and they are super long lasting. So even though it's a little bit more expensive than kind of your average high street jeweler, they will last so much longer. So the next piece I wanna show you was this necklace. So this comes in a set, which is super handy. And this one was 92 pounds, but you do get two necklaces for one. <laughs> Again, this is gold plated. Like the earrings, I feel like they instantly lift an outfit. And I love how on this one, the second chain is really detailed. I think that's so pretty. And the horn on the bottom is so unusual. I picked this necklace because I love layered necklaces. The only thing is I find if you buy them separately, sometimes they just don't sit right, like they might be too close together. Whereas buying them together, you know that they will kind of sit perfectly. One more piece I wanted to show you, um, but I have yet to put it on. So I don't know if you can see that there. This is such a pretty medallion style necklace. So I just put this one on and it kind of sits in between the two layers of the other necklace. And this one is 51 pounds. I think it's such a good price for something that's gonna be long lasting, it's good quality, and it's so versatile. I feel like if you're looking for kind of a jewellery capsule collection, then these three pieces would be perfect for that. I think they work really well together or really well separately. I feel like they've really upped my jewellery game. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna stand back a little bit so you can see my full outfit. So you may have noticed I've got a little bit obsessed with camels and beiges recently. It is one of the big trends of the season. So I quickly showed you this dress in one of my other hauls and I just had to keep it. It's one of those dresses that you can dress up and down. I would wear it shopping, I would wear it out for dinner, I could wear it with boots or heels depending on what kind of vibe I was going for. So this is from Mango, I got it in a size six. I love how flattering it is. The tie around the waist kind of brings everything in. It's a pretty tight fitting, but I also think it's very elegant. I also think when you have a midi dress, I think ribbed knit is a lot more flattering than normal knit. I'm kind of going for more of like a day outfit or a casual dinner outfit. I have paired it with my beige ankle boots. These are from ASOS. I've noticed that they have been selling out. I'll also link some alternatives. And I've also paired it with my Gucci bag. But I think it's so versatile, so chic, so smart. I love it. On to my second outfit and another one of my obsessions, houndstooth. <laughs> so pleated mini skirts are everywhere at the moment. After the summer tennis skirt, we are seeing the kind of winter alternative. And I love this version. This is from Bershka. They also have quite a similar one in ASOS, so I'll link them both just in case one of them sells out. It has pleats all the way around and a little buckle here. It's also a line, which is super cute and girly. One thing I'd say about this is it does come up really small. I got this in a size six. When I took it out the packaging, I was literally like, 
oh my god <laughs> what have i ordered it's just about okay but i think if you were in between sizes i would size up it is also pretty short so i'm five foot five five foot six um and i think for anyone that's any taller than that it could be a little bit of a risky purchase <laughs> As we know, I love the hands tooth pattern and I also love the little frayed edge. It kind of gives it Chanel vibes. Also has belt kind of hooks here, which is super handy if you want to wear a belt bit. And also when it gets colder, this would look fab with some black tights. So I paired it with this black tassel neck. It has these really cute ruched, really hard to say that, ruched shoulders, <laughs> which kind of add a really cute feminine touch. This is from Revolve, so a little bit more on the pricey size, but you can really feel that in the fabric. It's super, super, super soft. It's so cozy. This I got in a size extra small. I will link some cheaper alternatives as well, um, just in case you don't want to spend that much. Last of all, I will show you my beats. So I've paired them, so I paired this with my ankle sock beats. They also have a little painted toe and heels, which I think kind of also give me kind of Chanel vibes. I think they're really beautiful. I have also worn this with knee-high boots. I think it would also look nice with over-the-knee boots. So yeah, super versatile. So my next outfit combines my favourite colours, cream and camel. It's my absolute favourite colour palette for autumn. So you may have spotted this gorgeous cardigan before on my Instagram. The dinosaur buttons are just to die for. <laughs> I think mean, they're so cute and I love the colour, it's such a beautiful camel shade. This card is from And Other Stories and they do it in lots of other colours. They also do like little cute bee buttons and also heart buttons, um, so do check the link out down below. I have paired this with my little cream starettes pleated skirt. We have another pleated mini skirt, but this one, even though it's cream, it's actually quite wintry because it's tweed thick fabric. If I was going to wear tights with it, I think they would be natural coloured. I don't think black tights would work really. But even though it's not the most practical skirt, it is super cute and we all know I'm not that practical when it comes to cold weather, so I love it. I keep calling it a skirt, but it is actually shorts. It's kind of hidden shorts underneath to save any embarrassing moments. But yeah, again, this skirt gives me such Chanel vibes. It's super chic, I love it. I've also paired this outfit with my brown H&M knee-high boots. These are kind of like a croc style. These were super good value. I think they were, they were definitely under 50 pounds and they have them in black as well. So these are vegan and they do still look quite good quality even though they are very reasonably priced. I think this is like the perfect Kind of dinner date outfit i would also wear it with a cream or a camel wool coat also sizing as well i know i get lots of questions on this i got an extra small in the cardi and um, if you want a more oversized fit then definitely size up so the shorts fit quite high up on the waist they have a zip on the back and i got these in a size small so my next outfit you may recognize i'm so obsessed with the top i saw on the chanel spring summer next year catwalk that they have something so similar to this but in pink um, so this is the perfect autumn version so the top is kind of a super stretchy knitted slash lycra material i am a huge fan of these pearl buttons they also have a gold and a black trim so it kind of brings all the colors together the front of the top has little pockets and the black trim is around the sleeves in here and also at the bottom. I love a good statement top. It instantly lifts an outfit. You can also wear it done up all the way, um, but the top I feel like is slightly small on me, so I feel like the fabric pulls a bit if I do it up all the way to the top. So if you are in between sizes, I would suggest sizing up. This one is a size extra small. This is from Revolve. I paired it with my Zara pleated skirt. This was last year's collection, but I've spotted some really similar skirts, um, so I will link those below for you. I've also paired it with my Dior belt. I think this might have sold out as well, sorry. Um, 
but loads of other designers do really similar ones, um, Gucci and YSL, um, I think there's also a similar to your one, so I will link all of those below as well. So I pair it with my H&M knee-high boots again. These are going to be so versatile, I just know it. <laughs> yeah, so next up we have a little bit of a cosier outfit as we have jeans. I feel like this is like the perfect outfit for like going to the pub for like drinks or a nice roast so the jeans are the jamie black skinny jeans from topshop everyone has to have a pair of these in their wardrobe they are super stretchy super flattering i really feel like you just can't beat them for the price i have paired them with my dual belt another black black turtleneck this one was from asos and also my camel blazer slash coat from and other stories if you've seen my recent haul you will have seen this blazer before. What I love about it is it's really thick, it really does feel like a short coat. So I think this was about £130, but because of the quality and how thick it is, I really think it is worth the money. I also really like how oversized it is, and it does mean when it does get colder, you can really start layering and adding like really thick jumpers underneath it too. I got this in a size six, just because I didn't want it to drown me. And again, I've got my trusty H&M tan boots on. So next up, we have a, another jeans outfit. I've paired my Topshop jeans um, with this shacket. I've seen so many shackets, but I really like this one because it's a little bit more unusual. Again, we have more house too. It kind of has a black and a white, but also a metallic Red going through it which is super pretty. I also love the pockets at the front and the oversized fit. I wore mine with a belt but I would also wear it open with like a knitted dress and some knee-high boots. This is from Storettes. It's super thick so it's also really cosy for this time of year and I think this was about 50 or 60 pounds but I will put the link below. I have paired them with my black knee-high boots. Um, I will link lots of alternative black boots for you. What I really love about this is obviously it is quite oversized and it is kind of like a boyfriend fit but it still has a feminine vibe to it kind of with the houndstooth, the tweed fabric and um, so yeah I really love it, it's super cute. Next up we have another knitted mini dress, this one is from Revolve. I love this dress because again it's so versatile you can dress it up and down. So it's a knitted fabric, it's ribbed so again quite flattering. It has a round neckline and long sleeves so it's reasonably cosy too. It's a little bit more expensive than the other pieces but I really feel like you feel it in the fabric. It's super soft and I feel like it fits really well. I got this in a size extra small. I have paired mine with my Chanel handbag and also some black sock boots. I think normally I would wear midi knitted dresses with some kind of sock boots just because they fit quite tight on the leg. I think this is perfect for like a date night. I think because of the long sleeves and also the knitted fabric, it kind of keeps it reasonably casual, um, but it's also super smart and also very chic. So yeah, I love it. And we have reached my final outfit, and this is one of my faves. I love red in winter, especially little red tweed skirts. I think they are super cute, especially around Christmas. So this skirt was from Bershka. Again, it comes up quite small. I got it in a size extra small, and it is pretty cosy. <laughs> so I think if I was going to purchase it again, I would probably size up to a small. It's super cute, though. It gives me serious clueless vibes it fits high up on the waist and um, there is a zip but it's also a little bit stretchy on the back as well i also really love the frayed edge unfortunately it is just a skirt it's not shorts i have paired it with my black turtleneck my necklaces which i've worn for all of the outfits um, and also my black knee-high boots the knee-high boots are sold out but i will link some alternatives i found some really Butte black new high boots so do check them out so that brings me to the end of my video i really hope you found lots of inspiration for your autumn outfits do remember to check anna luisa jewelry out um, i will add a link in the description box and if you are tempted by anything there is also a discount code there for you too do also subscribe um, so you can keep up to date with all of my videos and have a lovely rest of your day